All right, I'm gonna go ahead and get started on this cab corner today. Go ahead and knock this bottom rust on out. I'm gonna go ahead and uh, get started. I'll probably cut a little bit more on up here a little bit, give me a little bit better bite. Come on around. I'll still have to fill in a little bit right there. But that's what we're looking at. All right, let's get started. I pretty much went on and put me a line on this new panel here all the way around. I'm going to go and cut it straight off right there, somewhat around here. It's a little bit big, then we'll adjust from there. Okay, I made a good cut around it. Alright, so what I'm going to probably do, that don't look bad right there. I had to take a little bit out of this part right here. It was a little bit too much meat there, so tuck that out. Kind of keeping the bottom flush. And what I'm going to do, scribe it out here on the blue and go ahead and cut that off a little bit at a time. Make sure it fits. I think we're looking good right there. Okay, after making a one cut deal here, this one worked out pretty good. I don't have to, I don't think I have to do anything else to it. Looking pretty good there, all the way around. I think I'm gonna clean it up and get the welding. I went on to some edge primer here with a little rust protector on that. I gotta cut a little bit of this off right in here on the bottom. Of course that was all the new panel that I put in down here on this floor bottom and this and that. So. Yeah, I'll take a little piece of that off, clean this on up, weld it up.
invest in some kind of hole punch. I think it'll make it a lot easier. Okay, I weld a little bit, grind a little bit. You see where I gotta fill on in. On around. Got a grinding plug down off the bottom there. Everything's looking real good. Feeling real good. So part of made me a patch for this back piece right here. Already had the groove in it right there. I've been in around and done some cutting and carrying on, so that's going to be all right. It ain't perfect, but it'll weld on up in there. It'll look just fine. The I got that from this piece on my inner door on my red truck. Had a piece that already had that little groove in it there, so that helped out. Here we go. Tab corners all in, welded up. Patches in on the back, looking pretty good. Got a little low spot right there where it goes in a little bit, but. We'll fill or take care of that. That's okay back there. So there we go. Mashed in pretty good. I still got some work to do right here on this lower cowl right here. Air cowl, vent. This side and the passenger side both I gotta fill in. Well cut and patch. I'm gonna use the rest of that cap corner to make me a patch for that and on the other side it ain't that bad just a little bit on the bottom I'll take care of all that got some problems right here on the top of the windshield right there so that's pretty major I'm gonna do some cutting here right through here do some rusting caps later all back in there that's after I take the windshield out because uh, the windshield's cracked so we'll have to put a new wind windshield in it and of course the rubber around it we'll go ahead and uh, do all that but yeah I'll get to this in a little while right after I get a, get a hold of this so yeah this ain't gonna be no show truck or nothing we're just gonna pretty much just scuff the paint up a little bit clean it up pretty much like I did that right there I done a red scotch bright and a gray just to see what it looked like so there's a little difference there and just drive the truck so that's what my brother's gonna do but we had to fix all this major rust stuff on the bottom so took care of all that and quite a few other little things we're going to do to it but anyway that's going to do it for now y'all take it easy <laughs>